See what I was telling you? So imagine, like, this is supposed to be like luxury, right? <laughs> so it's just. We I made it! Honestly, this, this Airbnb looks kind of dingy, but it is what it is. Quick tour, quick tour. Here's one of the bedrooms. Or there's only one bedroom, actually. Where's the light on the switch? Oh, I guess this is a shower with no toilet, apparently. And then this is... Oh shit, what did I just do? A little toilet. Bro, this looks like the toilets in the fucking airplanes. Yeah. I don't know if you want to film all that. At least we get, we get good lighting, to be honest. Man, that this is the light. living room. It's in a nice location, honestly. There's really a grocery is. store right there. Super nice. Open up the windows and shit. Oh yeah, we're in Paris. Fun, fun, fun. Our first meal, we just went to the spot right by our Airbnb. Honestly, all the food was good in Paris. There's no like shitty, shitty food, honestly. And like everything's close to our Airbnb where it's like walking distance. I think the furthest thing away was like a 35 minute walk. So like most of the time we could just walk everywhere. And then at night we went to the Rick store. Uh, kind of disappointed. I thought the Paris Rick store would be nicer, but I kind of prefer the New York and LA one. There's like not that much stuff in there and it's kind of small, but still a sick store. Nonetheless. Oh my gosh, the fresh orange juice at the grocery stores are so good. Like we need to bring this to Canada. Like every time I thought I was having fresh orange juice, that shit was definitely not fresh. Cause the ones in Paris taste way better. Same with the pastries, like this is like a convenience store and the pastries taste so good. And then I don't know why Greg filmed this in slow-mo, but basically me and Greg went to grab breakfast when Shay was still sleeping in at the spot right by our um, Airbnb. The food there is really good, like the sandwiches and stuff and coffee is so good there. I feel like I've been drinking shit coffee all my life <laughs> until going there. This footage looks kind of wrong <laughs> and inappropriate, but yeah the the food there is really good and we didn't really plan out food spots either which is kind of nice and the good thing is like when you're eating outside or on a terrace you're allowed to smoke so you can like smoke while eating and stuff instead of like having to go out and smoke again just more like walking around this is our first day there so we didn't have anything planned with some goons, bro. Uh, your parents know I'm gonna tell your parents. <laughs> <laughs> That's Arby or Cass. Yeah? Yo, has Arvin told you about his young days? What are my young days? Riding around with some goons. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's why you behave the way you behave. <laughs> they like the brown better. Right? The brown ones stood out more. Yeah. But let's be real. Once we yeah. move back to Butchrell, I've never worried this. Yo, you probably would. I swear. You think I'd wear this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it gets cold, no? Well, not the one with the long. Maybe the shorter one. Yeah, you probably, one. not this one, but the shorter this one you would wear. Fire. Yeah. Greg filming us. We need yeah, to do I'm a better job of filming while we're vlogging, but right we always forget just kind of living in the moment and stuff. Yeah. We'll definitely get better. But thanks to him, we have a vlog. Yeah. And then this is a store called L'Obscure in Paris. Um, it's like a secondhand avant garde store. A lot of people recommended us to go check it out. And yeah, they sell like a lot of mainly women's wear, but a lot of like archive CDG, Rick, uh, Junior, Yoji, you know, that just amazing selection of clothing. The prices are a little expensive, but nonetheless, like they have a great collection. I ended up buying a ring there, like a secondhand, like sterling silver ring, which was nice. And then just us trekking along. All this walking con content. Yeah. Secret. Oh, and I guess outfit wise, um, I basically wore the same shit all the week. And then this is a store, Le Clair, or whatever. Yo, <laughs> don't even <laughs> mind me trying to not <laughs> pronounce that, but super sick store. They sell like CCP and all those like crazy artisanal brands. She's doing her makeup right now. 
Today is Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday. Been up since like 3 a.m. because of the jet lag and stuff, but Greg and I just went to the convenience store and yo, European convenience stores are fire. Like the grocery stores, we need to step our game up. We're fucking slacking. Yo, that Some fresh orange juice. So good. Crazy. Insane. It was really good. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Check out the museum. Yeah, we're gonna go see Mona Lisa. <laughs> Lisa Mona. Lisa Mona. Alright. Peace. This was like an Italian spot near the Rick store that we saw, and then we decided to go the next day because it looked nice. Honestly, the food was really good. Che didn't like her squidding pasta, <laughs> but the, the, the space was super nice and the food was really good. Let's get this oh, bread. and Let's get this I guess to kind of explain what happened in the previous clip, we didn't go to Mo see Mona Lisa because the line was way too long and there was a special assembly going on, so we just didn't want to wait. It's this so is the next day, um, we were going to the IRA presentation at the DSM store. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite up-and-coming brands. Uh, based in LA, I believe. I'm wearing one of their knits that day. Wearing uh, Aaron Esch, also one of my favorite up-and-coming brands. Shoes, Solvam coat, uh, regards sunglasses. Um, I'm wearing GW Anderson coat. The skirt and the knit stuff I mainly made myself and the shoes were Atelier in Square. I don't wanna fuck up the name, but uh, a brand that is frequently used by the Yoji Mamoto runway shows. And then there's just always a bunch of random people taking, asking to take photos <laughs> during Fashion Week. And then this was the IRA presentation, a short clip of it at least. We honestly like didn't really plan to see any shows. Like everything was done really last minute, and like invitations were last minute and stuff. We so. also have some shows to go to that we just ended up bailing on. Like either it was too <laughs> not waking up in time, or not waking up. Yeah, and uh, during. The day though, uh, when I was able to wake up and not too hungover, we did go see a couple showrooms like Greg and I. While I was sleeping. Yeah, it's just so hectic. Next time we'll definitely plan it out a lot better. You got it. You got it. Go for it. You want to try it? Absolutely. <laughs> Good? That doesn't seem convincing. You're not convincing me. It tastes like, um, like mussels. Oh. But like a little fishy. Like a little seafood -y. A little seafood -y? Like it tastes more like, you know that like seafood, strong seafood. And then we went to the Yoji store the next day. Um, Cause in North America, there's no retail space. So this is my first time actually going to a Yoji store and like super nice store. They had a sale going on at the time as well. But even then, like a lot of the pieces are so expensive and I didn't find anything that I was super interested in while Che did. I found this coat. Well, it's so, like I loved, I loved it so much. And like, it made me really sad that I couldn't leave with it because it was expensive and I really wasn't planning on spending any money to be honest, so. And then we went to the CDG store, which I ended up buying those pants that you see there. I don't know why I don't have a video of me like wearing it and stuff, but. This is a noir uh, jacket at the CDG store. Really loved it, but once again, I wasn't really planning on spending money. So still really beautiful though. Honestly, the CDG space was really nice. It's really big compared to like the North American stores, I feel like. And then this is one of the parties that <laughs> we ended up going to. The next day we went to OFR, the bookstore. We woke up late, obviously, like, look how dark it is. Yeah. Um, and finally got to see the Eiffel Tower uh, on the last day. We like, also had some food by the Eiffel Tower, and, like, I suggest you guys never go down there. Yeah, that <laughs> Because that was the cool. worst restaurant that we ever had. Yeah. I mainly wanted to show this. Bullseye. Yeah, macaroons and 
McDonald's. And then the fact that sweet and sour sauce is called Chinese sauce here. Inside, inside. 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 Inside.